What's up guys, here at the Nug Smasher factory in the Smash Lab with the uh, Nug Smasher IQ, doing a little bit of hash today. We were working with a grower that had some um, second and third runs. Uh, we were kind of getting some results, seeing what we could actually do with this, you know, with this, some of the second and third run hash. Um, you can kind of see some of the quality of it. This, how it's buttering up some. You know, and then also we did some 45 micron runs what we're getting out of that might be really good test really high um, but it's dark so it might be really good for carts um, used with carts there solventless carts i know those are big but that's a 45 micron screen now we're working with some first run stuff we're going to put that in here in just a second so stay tuned and we're putting right at about 10 grams in we have it bricked up in a 25 micron screen uh, slid between two 37 uh, micron bags that holds the shape. The shape's gonna be two inches by uh, inch and three quarters on this one. So I'm gonna go over here to my, my uh, custom screen here. Go 1.75 by two inches. And that gives me, gives me the surface area. And I'm gonna go over to ramp mode and I'm just gonna hit hash here. And that's, we're gonna accept those uh, settings. They seem to work real well for me. What I have bricked up here, uh, like I said, is 10 grams of first run 73 micron bubble. We're going to stick that in at the regular hash settings, the ramp mode. So it's going to ramp the pressure and the temperature over six minutes when I hit start. So all I'm going to do is brick that up. I already put the surface area in on the other screen. I'm going to take a piece of parchment now. Stick it between the plates, press start, see what happens. Hopefully we need that lip there. And from this point on, over six minutes, the machine does the rest of the work. We'll come back to you right after the machine lets off. But other than that, stay tuned for the show. Well, I should have took that out earlier. That's what I feel like doing. I'm gonna do it for sure. All right, guys, so this is a 73 micron wash, um, first pull, obviously, uh, out uh, greenhouse grown stuff. What's great, you can see here, we'll get a yield out here, we put 10 in. We let it cool down a little too much before we took the puck out, so we stuck the puck back in, get it warm, warm back up. And here that is, so we're just gonna make sure we got everything out of this thing here. There's the puck, and there's the little that we missed, which we're gonna grab right here. Let that cool down a sec. And 
And we're going to take that over to the scale and give it a weight. Hey guys, this was from 10 grams of bubble there, uh, 73 micron first run. Really nice materials. Terpenes are nice. 7.8 back, so about a 78% return. And you can see that you can really do something different with the rest of your, your wash. Um, you got a 45 micron over here, and then we got some second and third pulls over here. You can kind of see the results from the same flower. Real stable product. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little quick coin here. All right, we'll come on over and see what we have here. So what you got is you have uh, first run stuff, obviously it's a 78% uh, return. Then you got second run stuff here. Um, cured, you got live, second run, live, second run, and then you have 45 micron screen here. So depending on what, in, keep in mind guys, it's all greenhouse stuff. This is, uh, this is really nice material. And then this is great material for rosin as well. So, you know, B, B minus C plus stuff. So, especially when it butters up, it's the terps are nice, the profile's nice, um, it works. So there you have it. Stick with us. We're gonna do a little larger run of this now that we see what we were working with. Trying not to get it on the side. It's stuck to the bottom pretty good. Perfect. You can see what's left in the bottom here. Cherry on top. Cherry on top. Bloop. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> what the? Okay, what the heck? Okay, so almost 40 grams. So now we're gonna go break it up and uh, figure out what kind of bag we're gonna put in. I like to just get it all pushed together and warm it up a little bit so I can get it uh, bricked up into a nice measurable size so I can measure the surface area and know uh, how to get the max extraction out of it. That's the main thing I'm trying to do. Um, and I'll stick it between the, probably the XP here and flatten it out um, here in a second. Close to 40 grams of bubble. Basically wrap the 25 micron screen around it, fold it back like this, and I'll stick it in a 14 gram, 37 micron bag to hold it all together. This holds the shape real nice. And the first uh, 14 gram bag, I'll just bring back and fold back with this. Uh, I don't know if I like that looseness, let's feel. 
And you don't want it too loose. If you can get it as tight as you can get it, the better. So I might try to put it in long ways. You can form your brick a little bit. See how it's much tighter now. You can form your brick back once you get it in there so it's nice, see? The flaps are straight and even. We'll just fold this 14 gram over because remember what we're tr doing is we're, we're trying to keep this exact surface area uh, through the full term of the extraction so that it doesn't squeeze out and just shape on you and that you put the uh, exact amount of surface area pressure needed to give you a great uh, great extraction there um, and then get a, get a max yield out of that extraction. So. See, I had a little fold there that was a little jacked up. I just stopped and fixed it. So on the fold in is the side that I put in the other bag that locks it in nice like that. And I try to keep all the folds, as you can see here, up when I do the uh, do the extraction. Okay, so from this point I have my my brick. I have the size of my brick. I'm gonna go ahead and do a measurement real quick. And this is real important obviously because this this gives you the uh, actual pressure of, of the product that you're, you have between the plates um, and measures the actual surface area. So I get a cool three inches by, uh, let's see, two I'm going to get it two and a half, a little under, yeah, two and a half, two and a half by three. So I'm going to come over here and let the machine know how much uh, service area I got. 2.5 by three. And then that's going to adjust um, how much actual applied pressures between the plates. And I'll put the uh, precise amount of material PSI on the actual extraction for me. So that's what I really wanna uh, want to happen. Right now I'm waiting for the plates to cool down just a few more degrees and we'll do us a, uh, do a nice extraction where we should get about 30 grams back or so. Okay guys, so we almost, almost 40 grams here. Um, it's in a 25 micron uh, screen, six inch square screen and it's in a 14 gram, 37 micron bags, double ended so it holds its shape. And we got the uh, measurement, we measured it, it's three inches by two and a half inches, so the surface area size is inside the, the Nug Smasher IQ already. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is just go over to ramp mode and let it run, let this thing do its, its deal. We're gonna hit uh, hash here, a hash option on the uh, ramp mode. I'm gonna do the duration a little bit longer on this because it's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to uh, eight. All that's left to do is um, get a piece of parchment paper here, get our uh, hash brick, stick it in between here. Try to get it nice and centered. No wrinkles in your paper, hit start, proceed. We'll go ahead and put a little pressure on it. Once it has a little pressure on it, you can take your paper and, and get it up out of the way. And this should want to run down like this. Let's put a little, let's put a little lip on it here to catch whatever comes down at us. And uh, the rest we're just going to wait on. We're waiting until it builds to a, a 100 material PSI, which, and then the timer will click off, which it just did. And then the machine's just gonna slowly climb in temperature and pressure over the course of eight minutes until uh, we've, we've just got a complete refinement into beautiful rosin, uh, solventless rosin. And, and if uh, you guys are new to rosin, uh, rosin is the way to dab. It's, it's the, you know, the absolute um, best in concentrate, concentrates solventlessly, doesn't have any chemicals in it. Um, it's very uh, potent and uh, excellent. So you can get rosin from just plain old cured flour. You can get it from a bubble like we have here. Um, uh, and then you can refine rosin into a isolate as well. So, and then on into diamonds and, 
and whatnot. So, and you do that with just heat and pressure, measuring uh, the exact amount of heat and pressure with a nug smasher machine. So when your temp gets up to about 150 is when you should really start seeing this thing start to react. 155-ish, somewhere in there. And you know, tension growers, you growers out there, uh, this might be a way for you to store your product. You know, might be a way to, to get a little more out of your, your packs. Something to think about. I know this grower certainly is doing that that we're working with here. So where are we at? 159-ish, this is where it's really gonna just start. I think we should be looking at somewhere around 30 uh, grams of rosin off this one extraction, guys. You can see it's running off the side of the plates. Nice over there into our crease. Perfect. Okay guys, three minutes left. You can see the, um, the next pressure IQ does all the work for us. It measures the pressure constantly and keeps that constant pressure on, which is one of the most important things. Keeps the temperature in each plate um, even and steady with the PIDs in it. And then most importantly, the pressure calculator that allows you to input the size of the surface area, surface area of material that you're extracting so that you don't have blowouts or too, put too much uh, pressure and, and uh, ruin the integrity of your material. Remember, we're here at the factory. The machines are all made in uh, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Uh, we have customer service available uh, for you guys at the factory seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. So hit them up. Did you mention the lifetime warranty? Yeah, <laughs> thanks camera guy. We do offer a lifetime warranty on our products. We believe in them that much. We, we offer a full lifetime warranty to couple with that seven day a week customer service. So. Um, there's an 80% upgrade program. If you start with a smaller unit, you get 80% of the current value towards a uh, uh, unit that's bigger to upgrade. Um, we have all kinds of great stuff for our customers, but the machines are made right here in Lake Havasu and uh, we stand behind them. They're the best in the world and we appreciate. So if you have any uh, questions or concerns about anything, hit us up anytime, we're here for you. And you can get a hold of us on nugsmasher.com in the chat or you can call our factory direct. Uh, the direct number of factory they answer it uh, all the time so but you can see just the beautiful extraction we got here now this is greenhouse grown um, flower um, greenhouse grown flower uh, uh, the, the farmers uh, great farmer uh, farmer drawn at uh, round tree farms he's um, uh, knows how to wash the material quite well you can see um, this is his first run stuff out of his 73 micron so that's why the results are so good. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been smoking on this for a few weeks now, different strains and whatnot, but uh, uh, I really enjoy uh, uh, the flower. It's all organic and, and, and good. And I, I can't tell you the last time that I've enjoyed a greenhouse flower like this. So something you can do, and then he's learning that he can also store it and package it this way. And it uh, uh, raises the value of his flower and everything else. So. It's a win-win all the way around. As you can see, this, this extraction is coming to an end. There's 32 seconds left, 30 seconds left. We're gonna, as it releases, we'll pull the magnet off and bring it over to the collection plate here. <clears throat> nice extraction, huh? So we like to pull that off right away. You don't get any stuck to it in this type of material. 
but you can see it's not much left in that thing. And that, whew, quite heavy, is what we have. So as we pull it right onto a collection plate, it'll start cooling it off. The aluminum from this collection plate will really draw the heat out of it, which will make it much easier for us to collect. Feels pretty stable. I always like to start with the small end. We know where it's real thick and big, it's going to be easy to collect. But there you have it guys, 30 grams of beautiful rosin. I mean, beautiful, stable, lovely looking rosin. Anybody would love to have, and there you have it. Guys, remember, always 420 on Thursdays, we have a premiere for you, and at 10 a.m. on Saturdays, we'll have a premiere for you, and we're starting a new podcast. Look for that coming up on Tuesdays. You know, if, if someone, you see someone smoking on some something with solvents in it, please enlighten them. Educate them about rosin and solventless rosin and how great it is all the less negative things that you get out of it. So solventless rosin is great. You make it yourself, you know what's in it. You can see what's in it and you taste the terps. It's much stronger, much more potent. Check out nugsmasher.com for all of our uh, specials on all of our machines and whatnot. We have customer service seven days a week, like I said, for you. So hit us up if you have any questions on anything. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, like, subscribe.